Alright guys, how's it going? So initially I was doing a review for the plugin called Tissue. Damn excellent plugin, and I'll put the link down below in the description, go and check it out. But I noticed the developer had one technique, and I really did appreciate it, and I thought I'd pass it on. And it's essentially using particle and relation. So in traditional fashion, let's just delete this cube. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to add in a mesh and I'll add in a plane. Dead easy stuff. I'll come to the particle settings and I'll add in a particle system. Now what I'll do is I'll change the number down to 200, just so we get a better visual representation. And what I'll do is I'll come down to physics and I'll change the physics type to keyed. Now if I hit play, it'll give you a better idea of what's going on. Essentially all I'm doing is generating 200 particles on the plane. I'm going to copy the plane a few times, so I'll hit Control c and Control v Another method is you can press Shift and D to duplicate. Another option is you can come up here, go to copy, hit paste. So that's a few different methods how you can actually copy stuff, so I prefer Shift and D to be honest. So what I'll do is I'll select the first plane and I'll come to Relation, it's just underneath Physics. And I'll add in a new relation. Now you can see here we've got a dropper tool, so I'll use the dropper tool, select the first plane, add in another one, select the second plane, add in another one, and I'm pretty much just going to repeat the same process. Add, use the dropper tool, select the plane, add, use the dropper tool. Pretty simple. Now I'm going to hit play just to show you what exactly is going on here, so I'll zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to get particles from the first plane to the second to the third to the fourth. And it makes this really nice natural particle sim. Now this is ideal if you maybe want to do smoke, but you're not necessarily wanting to restrict it to a curve. So keep this in mind. Now just to give you a better example of what it's actually doing is, I'll select this plane here, and I'll change the number to 1. And I'll select this plane, and I'll change the number to 1, and I'll hit play and watch what it does. See the way it goes from 1 to 1, and we get a much finer resistance, but I like to mix things up, so I'll make this 50, and I'll make this one back up to 200. It's essentially how many particles it can receive, is the best way to think of it. So I'll hit play, and we get this nice effect, beautiful. Now you can change things up and do a little bit of rotation, something like this. I'll select the first plane, and I'll come down to the render options and I'll change the render as and I'll change it to path and you'll see what it does. So you can immediately start to see what kind of effect I'm trying to achieve here. Now you might have noticed that it kind of missed this plane and the reason for this is the steps. So if we come down to viewport display you'll see here strand step. So if I put this up and let's say I go to 6 you'll get a much more accurate representation of what your particles are doing. So this is great. Keep in mind I'm still on the first plane and I'll come to velocity. Now you can actually change the normal of the velocity. When you do this you get a slightly more organic curve. So I'll select the second plane, I'll put the normal up again, and you can start to see I'm getting this nice organic smooth curve. Now I'm not entirely happy about how many particles are on the end plane, so I'll select this one and I'll change this down to I'll change it down to 50 and I'll make it quite low. So we get this kind of nice effect. Now you can change the way particles interact with this, but this is pretty much a basic overview of how you use particles in relation. Now the next step that you can do is come to the modifier tab and we can convert this into a mesh. So it's converted into a mesh, so if we go to object, convert, curve from mesh to text, that will change it into a curve, and it will then give us the geometry option. So if we come to this object data, the kind of green path here, we can come down to geometry, and we can do a depth on the bevel. We get this wicked kind of ribbon cable effect. And that's pretty much the entire tutorial now. I'll just quickly hide the planes for you. So you can get a better view. Hopefully that's helped a few users out. Do me a favour guys. Make sure you hit like on the video. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know what to do. 